How NPN Transistor Function in Electronics An NPN transistor is a type of bipolar junction transistor, BJT, which is a three-layer semiconductor device used in electronic circuits for amplification and switching of electrical signals. NPN transistors are one of the most common types of BJTs, with the letters N, P, and N representing the three semiconductor layers within the device. In a standard NPN bipolar junction transistor, BJT, the emitter is not made of N-type material. Instead, the emitter is made of P-type material, and it emits holes, not electrons. Let me clarify the structure and operation of an NPN transistor. N-type material, collector the bottom layer of the NPN transistor is made of N-type semiconductor material. N-type material has an excess of negatively charged electrons, making it an electron-dominant region. The collector collects the electrons that flow from the emitter. P-type material, base the middle layer of the transistor is made of P-type semiconductor material. P-type material has an excess of positively charged holes, electron vacancies. This layer is called the base, and it controls the flow of current between the emitter and the collector. N-type material, emitter, the top layer of the NPN transistor is another N-type semiconductor material. In this layer, electrons are the majority charge carriers, and it is called the emitter. Electrons are emitted from the emitter into the base region. In summary, the emitter of an NPN transistor is made of N-type material, and it emits electrons into the base region, which is made of P-type material. When a small current flows from the base to the emitter, it allows a larger current to flow from the emitter to the collector, making the transistor conduct and amplifying the current. NPN transistors are widely used in electronic circuits for amplification and switching purposes. P-type material, base. To clarify, in an NPN bipolar junction transistor, BJT, the middle layer, which is the base, is indeed made of P-type material, and it controls the flow of current between the emitter and the collector. Here's a more accurate description of an NPN transistor structure. N-type material, collector, the bottom layer of the NPN transistor is made of N-type semiconductor material. N-type material has an excess of negatively charged electrons, making it an electron-dominant region. The collector collects the electrons that flow from the emitter. P-type material, base the middle layer of the transistor is made of P-type semiconductor material. P-type material has an excess of positively charged holes, electron vacancies. This layer is called the base, and it controls the flow of current between the emitter and the collector. N-type material, emitter, the top layer of the NPN transistor is another N-type semiconductor material. In this layer, electrons are the majority charge carriers, and it is called the emitter. Electrons are emitted from the emitter into the base region. The P-type material in the base is crucial for the transistor's operation. When a small current flows from the base to the emitter, it allows a larger current to flow from the emitter to the collector, making the transistor conduct and amplifying the current. NPN transistors are widely used in electronic circuits for amplification and switching purposes. N-type material, collector. I apologize for any confusion in my previous responses. To clarify, in a standard NPN bipolar junction transistor, BJT, the collector is made of N-type material, not the emitter. Here's the correct description of an NPN transistor structure. N-type material, emitter, the top layer of the NPN transistor is made of N-type semiconductor material. N-type material has an excess of negatively charged electrons, making it an electron-dominant region. The emitter emits electrons into the base region. P-type material, base the middle layer of the transistor is made of P-type semiconductor material. P-type material has an excess of positively charged holes, electron vacancies. This layer is called the base, and it controls the flow of current between the emitter and the collector. N-type material, collector, the bottom layer of the NPN transistor is another N-type semiconductor material. In this layer, electrons are the majority charge carriers, and it is called the collector. 
The collector collects the electrons that flow from the emitter when the transistor is in operation. In summary, the collector of an NPN transistor is made of n-type material, and it collects electrons that flow from the emitter when the transistor is turned on. The emitter emits electrons, and the base controls the flow of current between the emitter and collector. NPN transistors are commonly used in electronic circuits for amplification and switching applications. Emitter Terminal, E. The emitter terminal, often denoted as E, is one of the three terminals of a bipolar junction transistor, BJT, which is a type of semiconductor device used in electronic circuits for amplification and switching of electrical signals. The emitter terminal is a critical component of the BJT, and its function is as follows. Emitter current, i.e. the emitter terminal is connected to the emitter region of the transistor, which is typically made of heavily doped n-type material for NPN transistors. In an NPN transistor, the emitter terminal emits electrons into the base region when the transistor is in the on state. In a PNP transistor, which has a p-type emitter, it emits holes into the base. The current that flows from the emitter to the base is known as the emitter current, i.e. Majority carrier emission, the emitter is the terminal through which the majority charge carriers, either electrons in NPN or holes in PNP, are released into the transistor's internal structure. The flow of these majority carriers from the emitter to the base region is essential for the operation of the transistor. Signal amplification, in an NPN transistor, when a small current flows from the base to the emitter, it controls a much larger current flowing from the emitter to the collector. This property allows the transistor to amplify signals. The emitter current, i.e., is typically the largest current among the three terminals of the transistor. Input terminal for NPN in an NPN transistor configuration, the emitter is considered the input terminal. The base current, IB, is applied to the base terminal to control the flow of current from the emitter to the collector. Variations in the base current lead to corresponding changes in the emitter current. Emitter base junction, the emitter terminal forms a junction with the base terminal, known as the emitter base junction. This junction is typically forward biased when the transistor is in the on state, allowing the flow of charge carriers from the emitter to the base. In summary, the emitter terminal of a BJT is responsible for emitting the majority charge carriers, either electrons or holes, into the base region, allowing the transistor to amplify signals and control the flow of current from the emitter to the collector. It is a crucial part of the transistor's operation and is essential for its functionality in electronic circuits. The base terminal, often denoted as B, is one of the three terminals of a bipolar junction transistor, BJT. BJTs are semiconductor devices used in electronic circuits for amplification and switching purposes. The base terminal plays a critical role in the operation of a BJT, and its functions are as follows. Control terminal, the base terminal serves as the control or input terminal of the transistor. It controls the flow of current between the emitter and the collector terminals. Base current, IB in an NPN transistor. The base current, IB, is the current flowing into the base terminal, while in a PNP transistor, it is the current flowing out of the base terminal. The base current is used to control the operation of the transistor. Signal amplification, the primary function of the base terminal is to control the flow of charge carriers, either electrons in NPN transistors or holes in PNP transistors, between the emitter and the collector. Small variations in the base current or voltage result in larger variations in the collector current, IC, making the transistor an amplification device. Switching, by applying a suitable current or voltage to the base terminal, you can switch the transistor between its on and OFF states. When the base current is sufficient, above a certain threshold, the transistor turns on, allowing a significant current to flow between the emitter and collector. When the base current is below this threshold, the transistor remains OFF, and only a minimal leakage current flows. Input signal control, in many electronic circuits, the base terminal receives an input signal, either current or voltage, that carries the information to be amplified or controlled. Modulating the input signal at the base terminal results in corresponding changes in the output current through the transistor. 
Emitter base junction, the base terminal forms a junction with the emitter terminal, known as the emitter base junction. This junction is usually forward biased when the transistor is in the on state, allowing the flow of charge carriers from the emitter to the base. In summary, the base terminal in a BJT is the input terminal that determines the behavior of the transistor. By manipulating the base current or voltage, you can control the current flow between the other two terminals, emitter and collector, enabling the transistor to amplify signals or act as a switch in various electronic applications. Collector Terminal, C The collector terminal, often denoted as C, is one of the three terminals of a bipolar junction transistor, BJT, which is a semiconductor device used in electronic circuits for amplification and switching. The collector terminal plays a critical role in the operation of a BJT, and its functions are as follows. Current collection, the primary function of the collector terminal is to collect the majority charge carriers, either electrons in NPN transistors or holes in PNP transistors, that flow through the transistor. These charge carriers move from the emitter to the collector, for NPN, or from the collector to the emitter, for PNP. Output terminal, the collector terminal is considered the output terminal of the transistor. The current flowing from the collector is the output current of the transistor, often denoted as IC, for NPN transistors, or IE, for PNP transistors, representing the collector current or emitter current, respectively. Current amplification, the collector current, IC, is controlled by the current or voltage applied to the base terminal. Small variations in the base current, IB, result in larger variations in the collector current, IC making the transistor an amplification device. This is known as current amplification or current gain and is denoted as beta, beta, for BJTs. Power dissipation, the collector terminal is designed to handle higher power levels compared to the base and emitter terminals. It is often connected to a power supply or load in electronic circuits. The transistor's ability to handle power is important for its use in various applications. Voltage separation, the collector voltage, VC, is typically higher than the emitter voltage, V, in an NPN transistor and lower than the emitter voltage in a PNP transistor. This voltage separation allows the transistor to switch and amplify signals effectively. Collector base junction, the collector terminal forms a junction with the base terminal, known as the collector base junction. This junction is usually reverse biased when the transistor is in the on state preventing the flow of charge carriers from the collector to the base. This reverse biasing is essential for the transistor's operation. Heat sink connection, in high power or high current applications, the collector terminal is often connected to a heat sink to dissipate heat generated by the transistor during operation. Proper heat management is crucial to ensure the transistor's reliability. In summary, the collector terminal in a BJT is the output terminal that collects the majority charge carriers flowing through the transistor. It plays a vital role in current amplification, signal switching, and power handling in electronic circuits. The collector current is controlled by the base current, allowing the transistor to serve as an amplification device or a switch in various electronic applications. In an NPN transistor, the transistor is typically in an OFF state when no current flows into the base terminal. When a small current is applied to the base terminal, it allows a larger current to flow from the emitter to the collector, effectively turning the transistor on. This property makes NPN transistors useful for amplifying signals and controlling the flow of current in electronic circuits. NPN transistors are commonly used in applications such as signal amplification, signal switching, and digital logic circuits. They are versatile components in electronics and are found in a wide range of electronic devices and circuit designs.